Hey guys, welcome to Jake's Bakes. So today we are going to make an Atlantic beach pie. So you know, we've kind of made a lemon pie in the past, but that didn't very, that didn't turn out the best. Um, so we're gonna try and remake it, but an Atlantic beach pie, which is kind of similar, except it has a more salty crust. Okay, let's get started. So what you're gonna need to start is, well, you're gonna wanna preheat your oven to 350 degrees. And we crushed up some Ritz crackers. Originally, it tells you to use saltine crackers, but we thought those might be a bit too salty. So we're using uh, Ritz crackers. You don't wanna, you can use a mixer or a food processor or your hands, but don't try to crush them too much. You kind of want to leave them a bit coarse though. So we're going to pour 60 crackers of Ritz crackers into our bowl. And to that we are going to add 3 tablespoons of sugar and 7 tablespoons of softened butter. So that's right in between 1 half and 1 third. And you are going to want to kind of with your hands work it all together until it becomes a little dough. So we've combined our crumbs together. So it should be when you hold it, it should stay for a little bit and then break off. And we greased an eight inch pie pan and we are going to pour all of our pie crust mixture into our pan. It looks like a lot, but we are going to press it in along the bottom and the sides, hard and firm and as well as we can. Okay, so we've molded our crust into our pan. We've added a little extra at the bottoms, but we still left a little bit on the sides at the top uh, because the bottom it's a lot better to have thicker crust on the bottom because it tastes really good. But it's also good to have enough on the sides because this is going to be a pretty big pie. Well, it's standard, but it's just going to be fun to make. Um, so the sides do not have to be completely pushed in because maybe sides warp off. So we got some crumbs there, but we are going to refrigerate this for 15 minutes. So we have refrigerated our crust for 15 minutes and now we are just going to pop this in the oven for 18 minutes or until the color gets a little bit darker brown, but not too much. Okay, so now that our crust has come out of the oven, um, it's a little hot, but it's done. Uh, we browned it a little bit, um, so we are going to let that cool a bit more while we're doing this. So we have right here uh, 14 ounces of condensed milk. So one whole can of sweetened condensed milk. And you're just gonna add that to a large bowl. And you are going to add one half cup. We use fresh squeeze because it adds a really nice flavor but you can use uh, store-bought or something, but uh, it's lemon juice or lime juice, or you can do a mix of both, which is really cool. Um, and then we have four egg yolks that we are going to combine all of this in this bowl and make sure all of it is mixed together. That's really important. Okay, so we've fully mixed everything up and it's kind of like a lighter yellow color. Um, so the easiest way that I did this is I just made small movements with the spatula quickly in the middle because if you did the outside and mix the whole thing, then the lemon juice would splash up in that whole mixture. So it's really well to work through the middle with the condensed milk. Okay, so you're gonna wanna pour your mixture 
into your crust. Make sure your crust has cooled. It doesn't have to be completely cooled, but it should not be hot to the touch. It's fine if it's a little bit warm though. And we're gonna scoop all of this into here and bake in our 350 degree oven for 16 minutes. Okay, so we have chilled and cooled our pie and everything, and it is beautiful. <clears throat> it's hard, well not hard, but it's set, and there's a beautiful buttery crust, um, and salty, and I think this salty and savory combination is gonna be amazing, and you can garnish it with whipped cream. And also, we made this bake for Mother's Day, so here's my mom, who we made Mother's Day pie for. So yeah. Thanks guys for watching on Jake's Bakes. We hope you subscribe to our channel if you're new, and like this video if you want to, and we will see you next time. Just do it.